So you want to know how to be successful. But did you know that if your mind and your body are not both at peak performance, you can never reach your full potential and your true success? I'm going to address that and so much more in this week's episode of Real Life Success. Let's talk about the mind-body connection. So you want to be successful, but you're wondering about the steps. Did you know that when it comes to your success in reaching your full performance, that your mind and your body are connected? What does that mean? You know, for a lot of us, we either focus on one area or another. We focus on our mental performance or we focus on our physical performance, but we fail to realize that both are connected. So if you're only focusing on physical activity, physical exercises, but you're not actually boosting your brain, you're not training your brain, guess what? A tired brain equals a tired body. What else? You could be doing all of the brain work that you want, but if you're not actively building up your physical body, your mind is always going to falter because the mind and the body are connected. So here's why this video is important. You know, have you ever found yourself in a situation where maybe you were really stressed about something and even though you've been in great physical shape, because of the fact that you were so mentally drained, it took a toll on your whole body. Maybe you got butterflies. Maybe it was hard to breathe. Maybe your stomach was in knots. Based upon something that you felt mentally, it caused a bodily reaction. That's the mind and body connection. Here's what you have to know. You know, when God created us, he didn't just give us a mind. He gave us a mind and a body. He gave us a mind to think, and he gave us a body for us to produce thoughts and actions from. So what does this all mean? When we're talking about the mind-body connection, the first thing that you have to know is that the best brain training comes in a few forms. Who wants to guess what the best brain trainer is? How do you maximize the blood flow to take critical nutrients to the brain? The number one best way to train your brain is through exercise. See that? It's not even reading. And the reason why I say it's not even reading is because, again, you know, you can take Course after course, you can read book after book, but if you are not exercising, you're lacking in the amount of blood flow that's getting to the brain. If you don't have enough blood flow that's getting to the brain, did you know that your brain is shrinking? If you're not exercising regularly, your blood isn't getting to the brain, which means your brain is shrinking, which means possible memory loss which means you're going to be more likely to be depressed, which means you're going to have more sluggish behavior. There's so many side effects that comes from you not being physically fit. That's the reason why whenever you watch these videos, not only am I giving you a lot of information, I'm also showing you through my words and through my own physique the importance of good exercise. Here's what I want you to do. On top of you subscribing to my page, I want to give you this free gift. I want you to check out an audio book that's called Spark by John J. Rady. There was a scientist in the field of physical fitness that discovered that the number one way to improve the mind of a human being is through physical exercise. Exercise cures depression. It cures anxiety. It boosts confidence. It releases neurochemical reactions like dopamine, serotonin, norepinephrine, all of these things that are making you feel better from one day to the next. Have you ever been on a treadmill or have you ever gone running and you experienced what's known as a runner's high? Did you experience the runner's high in your body or was it a feeling that you had through your brain? See, again, 
That speaks to the mind-body connection. When you treat your body well, you're treating your brain well. When you're treating your brain well, you're treating your body well because both of the two are connected. So don't think that you're just going to be study, study, study all day. Let your body go to waste and then you're going to stay at the top mentally. It's not going to happen because if you're not training your body, which your body is your temple, your mind's going to rot away. If you're not taking care of yourself physically, it's always going to affect you mentally. That's one of the things that you need to understand. Another book that's very good to check out, The Powerful Engagement. It shows you that you have multiple types of energy. You don't just have physical energy, you have mental energy. And if you're mentally drained, you're always going to be physically drained. So one of the best things that you can do to train your brain is through exercise. Now, after you're done with the exercise, you know what else you have to do? I know you're not going to want to hear this part. Next thing that you're going to have to do is you're going to have to be on a good diet. See, because you are what you eat. You know, if you're taking in, your body is just like a car. You know, if you're operating on a high quality vehicle, you just can't put any type of gasoline in the car. And I would want to think that your personal health and your success is more important than any car. You're more valuable than any car because there's only one you. So whenever you're operating at a high level of peak performance, guess what? You need peak fuel. That's why your diet is the second most important thing when it comes to the mind and body connection. Because guess what? Here's one of the things that maybe you've never heard before, but maybe it's giving you a different perspective to consider. Have you ever sat down and you've ate a large meal or you ate what's known as comfort food and after you had the meal you felt like you needed to take a nap or you needed to go to sleep that's actually the effects or the after effects of a potentially bad diet that's actually the after effects of having an imbalance in your blood sugar see some of us call that the itis whenever you eat a large, hefty meal, and then after that, you just want to go straight to sleep. Usually, you would perceive that as a good thing. You would, you would talk about how good the meal was because of how much it would put you to sleep. But it's actually causing a disruptance in your body and in your performance because your blood sugar is always supposed to be, for the most part, at a pretty even kill, right? If you are having a blood sugar amount that's always up and down, up and down, up and down, that means you're always either tired, fatigued, or when you eat a lot, that means there's so much glucose coming to the brain, you're feeling overwhelmed and overloaded to the point where your body is actually shutting down on you and you just want to go to sleep. That's the number one reason why your diet is so important. Because imagine if you had a very important day. You had to be in an important meeting. Let's say it's maybe around 1.32 o'clock and Maybe you go to lunch at 12 noon or even 1 o'clock and you have big chocolate cake, you know, uh, pasta, a huge plate of pasta. You know, maybe you have a soda or some high sugar fruit drink that you might even think is healthy. Well, what's going to happen to you the minute after you get out of the lunch table? You're going to feel tired, sluggish, ready to go to sleep, all because of the diet. The diet that you are consuming it not only impacts the body, it also impacts the brain because the two are connected. Remember what I said earlier. One of the main things that improves your physical is your mental state. So imagine if your brain circulation is cut off or your brain is overwhelmed by the things that you're eating. If you're putting a lot of junk into your body, that means you're putting a lot of junk into your brain. And when your brain is shut down, that's when your body is shut down. That's the reason why, you know, if somebody is brain dead, there's no more life left because they don't have a brain. The mind and the body are connected. So here's what you need to think about. You need to think about, you know, when you're eating a meal, what, and this is all related to your success, because when it comes to your success, you have to have a sharp mind. You have to have a great physical body. You know, when you're working hard and you're trying to make things happen, 
The last thing that you want to worry about is being physically drained. The last thing that you want to worry about is being mentally drained. So you need to make sure that the brain food that you're eating or whatever type of food that you're eating is good and beneficial to the brain as well as the body. Did you know that there are certain foods that we eat on an everyday basis that actually does a good job at making the brain inflamed? that makes the brain actually degenerate. Did you know that? One of the worst things, one of the highest stressors that we can have in our mind and body connection is high carbohydrate diets. Now, I'm not a dietitian, but I'm just saying this out of my own experience. With studies show, research show, scientists have proved that a high, high carb, High carb diet leads to fatigue, irritability, laziness, and so much more. The reason being is because as you're ingesting all of these carbs, what are all these carbs coming from? high starchy meals, and a lot of these foods, are they natural meals or are they processed meals? See, a lot of these things are processed, right? What you eventually want to do is say no to processed food, right? Because as your body is digesting this processed food, it's not natural. It's not natural food. Right? By you eating these processed food, your body is actually having to work overtime now to extract some type of nutrient from these foods. And guess what that's taking a toll on? Your brain and your body. Right? You got to ask yourself, what is the long-term effect of the things that I'm eating and how it's impacting the brain? See, For a lot of you, you think it's natural for you to have memory loss or for you to have, you know, kind of poor thinking skills as you get older. But did you know that memory loss is not correlated directly with age? It's correlated with brain degeneration based upon the foods that you've been eating. That's why I'm trying to warn you now, stay away from the processed foods because not only do they impact the body, they impact the brain. Anytime you eat anything, it not only has an impact on your physical makeup, but also when it comes to your mind, right? So going back to the subject on the mind and body connection, because you do have to have a top running brain to be successful, just like you have to have a top running body. You have to not only have a good exercise plan, you also have to have a good diet. You know what else I would probably encourage you to do? You should probably always look for Something that is intellectually stimulating. So when I'm talking about something that's intellectually stimulating, for example, reading a new book, right? Because your brain seeks novelty. If your brain is always thinking about the exact same thing, the brain starts to deteriorate. And that's one of the reasons why, as people get older, their mind starts to get weaker. Because guess what? What were you doing the entire time that you were growing up? You were going to school. You were taking new courses. You had to read new books. You had to maybe learn new languages. You had to take on new homework assignments. And your brain was constantly feeding on the novelty of the new information that you were embracing. But now guess what? Now you're an adult. You may not be reading any books. You may not be challenging yourself with any new courses or embracing any new material. So what is your brain doing? Your brain is going downhill now because it doesn't have anything new to strengthen it. It's just like the body and the muscle because the brain is a muscle. You know, what's going to happen if your entire life you just lift a 10-pound dumbbell, right? Maybe 50 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, Maybe a 10-pound dumbbell might have challenged you, but it was it's never a problem now, right? If the muscle is not stretched or if the muscle is not challenged, there's going to be no growth. The same thing applies to your brain. That's why you have to have intellectual stimulation. 
exercise to get the right nutrients and blood flow to the brain. You have to have the right diet, the right brain foods. Make sure that you're always fully hydrated, right? All of the sugars that you're taking in, all of the starches that you're taking in. These things oftentimes can cause either an insulin resistance or what's known as hypoglycemia, right? If you have an insulin resistance or if you have hypoglycemia, things that lead to diabetes, if your blood sugar is all over the place, your mind and your body are affected. The number one thing that you can do to try to keep your mind and your success on an even kill is to have regular blood pressure flow. You want to have a normal blood pressure, 120 over 80, and you also want to be able to have a steady blood level, right? You don't want it to be up and down, up and down, up and down. One of the things that I recommend with the diet Try your best to eat about three times every three hours, right? So here's what I mean when I say eat three hours, every three hours. Uh, sometimes it could be a meal. Sometimes it could be a light snack. But what eating on a set schedule does is it allows you to keep a steady blood sugar level. Have you ever found yourself waking up maybe at three in the morning somewhere in the middle of the night, and you just have this burst of energy out of nowhere. You can't even go back to sleep. You're just ready to take on the world, even though you know you haven't slept that much. See, the, a lot of that is based upon a bodily response to having your blood sugar that's all over the place. Because your body, it just goes burst and crash, burst and crash, burst and crash. It's like when you give a kid some candy. When you give a kid some candy, they're gonna be full of energy, but then a few hours later, they're going to be ready for a nap. Why? Because they're crashing on the sugar. Same thing with yourself. Based upon the things that you're eating, you are damaging your blood sugar level. And you will operate in the exact same way. You'll have bursts of energies and crash, bursts of energies and crash. And unfortunately, because of the fact that you never knew this, you might actually be crashing at times where you should be highly successful. See, if you are so addicted to caffeine and coffee... The exact same thing is happening. You're giving yourself a high sugar spike, high insulin spike, but you might end up crashing at a time that's inopportune. That's why you have so many people that has addictions to sugar, addictions to caffeine, addictions to all of these stimulants that gives you a false sense of energy, right? And all the while, it's, it's impacting your brain and your body. So... What's the takeaway that I want you to get from this? Ultimately, you must understand that if you want to be successful, the world's most successful people not only know how to train their mind, they also know how to train their body. That's the reason why I keep telling you. It's very rare that you're going to find someone that's on a billionaire level that's extremely unhealthy or extremely overweight. If you look at a large portion of millionaires and billionaires, people that have amassed great success, you notice that they all have in common that they're all on diet plans for the most part, and they all believe in the value of physical fitness. Why? Because the number one thing that you can preserve is your mind and your body, right? Your energy is one of the most scarce resources that you're ever going to have, right? You have time. You have money. Those are precious resources. But guess what? If I gave you, let's say I had the power to give you 48 hours in a day minus 24 hours in a day. But if your energy was completely zapped, would it really matter how many hours you had in a day? Because if you were totally drained, you still wouldn't be able to get anything done. Right? That's why the most successful people know the importance of the mind and body connection. How do you maximize the mind body connection? Staying on top of your exercise, staying on top of your diet. Look up right now on the internet, brain foods. Look up on the internet right now, low glycemic index. One of the worst ways that you could be impacting yourself is by having extremely sugary breakfast. You know, most people in America right now, before they even get out their front door and go to work, They've already damaged their energy. Why? Because they're starting the day off with a lot of high sugary drinks like multiple cups of orange juice, taking on breads, pastas, pastries, pancakes, all of these things that are filled with gluten, 
high sugar that's only going to impact the brain. When you're starting off, you want to remember now, high carb diet equals fatigue, irritability, laziness. You want to add more protein to the diet. That's going to help you tremendously on your diet. When it comes to the intellectual stimulation, read new books, take on new materials. Make sure that you make some time to meditate. You didn't realize this, but even when you're exercising, that's releasing so many neurochemicals that it's actually repair repairing your brain cells. Like when you exercise and when you meditate, what your body does, it releases a neurochemical called brain-derived neurotropic factor, BDNF. These are all things that are very important. You may not see it now because you might be young, but I guarantee you, 10 years down the line, 20 years down the line, 30 years down the line, you'll be thanking me. Because guess what? Success is about the long game. Don't think that you're because you're feeling so great now, you'll feel the same way in 5 to 10 years. I'm showing you how to maintain a peak energy level, not only right now, but from year to year to year to year. You are what you eat. Be very mindful about what you put into your body and what you put into your brain. And if you stick with this, I guarantee you, you have one edge over your competitors in terms of success. So I will see you on the next episode. Please don't forget to subscribe. I have a question for you. What did you think of this episode? What are you going to do now to improve your quality of living? How will you improve your mind? How will you improve your body? Leave me a comment below. I'll see you on the next episode of Real Life Success.